Tesla Steel Beast is getting closer to production. Not long after, an image of a Cybertruck body prototyped was leaked from Gigafactory Texas. Videos from the site now indicate that the all-electric pickup truck's 9,000-ton Gigapress has arrived at the facility. It appears that Tesla is on track to begin production of the Cybertruck next year. Welcome to First Class Tech, and in this video, we will take a look at the Tesla Cybertruck 9,000-ton Gigapress parts begin arriving in Texas and further updates. After the Tesla Semi went into production a few weeks ago at a facility near Giga Nevada, the Cybertruck is clearly the next model on the company's industrialization radar. According to Musk, the electric pickup truck will begin low-volume production at Gigafactory Texas in mid-2023, as anyone who follows Cybertruck updates is aware. According to insiders cited by a source last month, mass production will begin before the end of next year. In recent weeks or months, several signs pointed to Tesla preparing for Cybertruck manufacturing, including the start of the tooling phase, Hydra Group transporting the 9,000-ton Gigapress for the pickup truck, the beginning of the recruiting process, and, more lately, the spotting of a Cybertruck frame at the Austin factory. Another exciting development to report is the confirmation that Gigapress parts have arrived at Tesla's Giga Texas facility. Several spotters and members of the Cybertruck Owners Club have posted pics online that show a long crate with Hydra Group's badge stamped on it, along with two big red painted parts covered by a tarp. When teardown veteran Sandy Monroe shared his initial thoughts on the leaked Cybertruck body picture from Giga Texas, his early feedback was that the apparent rear megacast in the body was actually composed of many parts that were lost foam casting. This meant that the leaked image depicted a prototype Cybertruck rear megacast. Monroe explained that the actual Cybertruck megacasts would necessitate the presence of Idris flagship 9,000-ton Gigapress, which Tesla has ordered for the all-electric pickup truck. Drone flyovers of the Giga Texas complex have yet to show that the 9,000-ton press is fully built in the facility. Monroe was struck by the size of the Cybertruck's rear megacast in his first impressions. Monroe's comment about the image encapsulated his initial thoughts. That is actually more revolutionary than I thought, Monroe said, adding that he would like to see if the component was just one casting. Monroe noticed that the component in the leaked image does not appear to be a single casting, at least not yet. Instead, the component that was caught on camera in the leak was a prototype consisting of about five components that were welded together. This is a working prototype. It means that they're testing it out to ensure that everything fits properly. I'm going to tell you right now that you're looking at five components. They've been welded together. These castings, which appear to be castings, but are made in a different way, are most likely made, Monroe says. It's known as lost foam casting. So what I can do is create a foam pattern, pam it up in sand, and then pour molten aluminum into that cast or mold. And that mold will sublimate the styrofoam. It'll simply vanish. It turns into a gas, and then it'll fill up the core that's inside the mold. And it'll give me this casting. It's a fantastic idea for a prototype part, Monroe noted. Having said that, images taken recently around Giga Texas suggest that parts of the massive machine are already arriving on site. Joe Ted Mayer, a drone operator and Giga Texas viewer, recently shared a video of his recent aerial flyover of the massive facility. While Ted Mayer's footage provided a number of interesting insights into the various construction projects currently underway in the Giga Texas complex, the parts of Idris' 9,000-ton Gigapress were arguably the most interesting part of his recent flyover. Also, a picture of a Cybertruck body with a single-piece rear megacast was recently shared on the internet. The photo was shared on YouTube by longtime Tesla owner and EV advocate Kim Java, who noted that the image was taken from Giga Texas. The photo was taken from the back of the vehicle and shows what appears to be two major parts of the Cybertruck's body joined together. One appeared to be a megacast, while the other appeared to be hydroformed stainless steel. A close examination of the rear megacast reveals a number of intriguing details. For one thing, Elon Musk was not kidding when he said that the Cybertruck's rear requires a larger casting than those used in the Model Y. 
By the way, if you're watching us for the first time, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you can enjoy our future videos while getting updated. Now coming back to the topic, Musk stated that Tesla would need to use the largest casting machine available for the Cybertruck's rear body because it is a large vehicle with a long truck bed that must be capable of carrying a large amount of weight. The single-piece mega cast for the Cybertruck's rear is the largest yet, as seen in a recent photo from Giga Texas. The lack of a folding midgate was also noticeable in the most recent Cybertruck image. Some Tesla supporters were disappointed because they were looking forward to the feature. A folding midgate was also strongly implied in a Tesla patent from last year, which described folding rear seats. The patent received a lot of attention because it would make the Cybertruck a great camping vehicle. If the recent image of the Cybertruck and its mega cast is any indication, this will not be the case. The 9,000-ton GigaPress components were spotted by the drone operator in the northwest bay of the casting machine structure. Two large red compression plates were among the components, as was a long box with an Hydra logo that was thought to hold some of the 9,000-ton GigaPress tie bars. Tesla Gigafactory Texas production has reached 3,000 Model Y units per week, marking yet another milestone for the company's new electric vehicle factory. Tesla stock has taken a beating in recent weeks. The Twitter deal involving Elon Musk has cast a shadow over Tesla recently, but the automaker appears unconcerned. Tesla has its sights set on the price, and it is ramping up production in Texas, Berlin, and even China. The EV manufacturer is also still looking for ways to improve the efficiency of the Fremont factory. Tesla is expanding its Gigafactory in Texas while ramping up Model Y production and preparing for the Cybertruck. Tesla plans to produce 5,000 Model Y vehicles per week at Giga Texas by the end of the year. It set the same goal for Giga Berlin with only a few weeks left in 2022. It's crunch time for Tesla's newest Gigafactories. Tesla hopes to reach a weekly production rate of 10,000 vehicles by the end of 2023. There is always a lot of uncertainty, like the production, because it looks like an S-curve. And that intermediate part of the S-curve is difficult to bridge with high certainty, Elon Musk said during the Q2 2022 earnings call. However, I believe you can have a lot more certainty at the end of the S-curve. And so that's why I'm confident we will get to 5,000 cars a week in Austin and Berlin by the end of this year or early next year, and probably, but not certainly, 10,000 cars a week at both locations by the end of next year, he said. Given the size and design of the massive contraption, it would not be surprising if more Idris flagship GigaPress components were discovered in Giga Texas in the coming weeks. The red parts appear to be components of the GigaPress red molds, while the long wood crate could include the poles on which the molds slide during the casting process, based on the photos. Of course, we won't know for sure if these are genuine GigaPress parts until Hydra and Tesla technicians begin assembling them. The answer is yes. The Tesla Cybertruck has been postponed several times, but it appears that 2023 will be the year that the electric and eccentric pickup truck finally becomes a reality. Despite skepticism from some who believe that the Cybertruck may never be released, updates from Giga Texas and increasing images of the electric pickup truck at Tesla facilities clearly show the vehicle is approaching production at a steady pace. Tesla confirmed this as much during the Q3 2022 earnings call when the company noted that Giga Texas is set to begin early Cybertruck production in mid-2023. And with that being said, it is time to end our video. Before that, we would like to know what are your thoughts about this 9,000-ton GigaPress? Let us know in the comments. Like this video and make sure to subscribe to the channel for more amazing videos like this one. We will see you in the next video.